Hello everyone. So I've been meaning to change the tire on this tractor for a while now. Just haven't gotten around to do it. So we're gonna lift this up and try to replace it. I have the other tire over here that's already on a rim and everything. So I don't have to switch the rims, thank heavens. So this is the one we're gonna be putting on there. I washed the rim up a little bit cause there was a bunch of grease on there, but the tread's really good and it's really not weather checked hardly at all. So it should work pretty good. So we're gonna try to figure out how to jack the tractor up now and get this switched out. So I'm not gonna be able to lift way out on the axle where I would like to, cause the jack just won't be able to go up that high. So I'm gonna try to lift on this side of the lower three point arms. And hopefully that will, it should bring this side up cause it'll be offset to this side. So we'll just have to see. And that tire, the brake is locked so it shouldn't roll anywhere. Almost off the ground. There. It's off the ground. So, it'd be nice to get a jack stand under here, but I honestly don't know where I would put a jack stand. So, what we're going to be doing is taking off all of these bolts, and then we should be able to take this outside rim off of the main wheel hub. So, these look like they've been on there for a while, so hopefully, they'll come off fairly easy. I guess I don't know what the back side looks like. Nothing. These are just studs in there. So hopefully these nuts will come off easy enough. We'll have to find out. I have a good variety of bigger sockets. That's my only inch one. All the rest are metric. Which 27 is actually pretty tight. Too tight. Too loose. And too loose. So I think we're going to go with this uh, 27 millimeter. It's actually really tight on there. I don't know what that converts to, but it, that, that's a pretty good one there. So hopefully these will come off. Just took the whole stud out. So I might need to take that over to the uh, workbench and try to get that nut off. Or maybe we'll just leave them as bolts. <laughs> that one's tight on there. Alright, last one. So we're going to just tap these loose here. Hopefully they just come loose. Oh, the whole thing popped off. fall off there now. Do another. Now door. See? Pretty good. Just want to stay away from it just in case it does fall. <laughs> Pretty good. 
pretty easy. All right, I'm just gonna get the other one and we'll put it on there. So these notches or these little things that are welded onto the rim here need to line up with this slot because that keeps the uh, tire, the rim from rotating on this main hub, so. Which this should be pretty easy. Once I get it close on there, I can just rotate the rim and then line it up and then push it on. Hopefully. <laughs> Which we might need to jack it up a little bit more since this has more tread on it. Maybe not. It's actually a little higher. Let's rotate this. Okay, so that goes there. I almost need to go down a little bit. I don't really want to go down. I want to go. There we go. That's what I want. There we go. So let's get some of these on here so we don't have to worry about it falling. Let's get a couple of these started and then we won't have to worry about it falling at all, which would be nice. There. It's actually going way smoother than I thought it would. I, I don't know why I thought it would be difficult. Anything I've tried to work on this tractor has been fairly easy, so. All right. Just finish these up. We're good to go. All right. Got all those on there. Now, get them gooten tight. I don't really know how tight they need to be, so. We'll see. All right. I think that'll do it. I just, for a second there, I'm like, I didn't check the rotation of the tire, but it's on correctly. So yeah, that's it. That actually was way simpler than I thought it'd be. So that's awesome. Hopefully it holds air. I didn't check that, but it feels like it has air in it already. So I don't know how much air is supposed to be in these actually. Check around here maybe. It doesn't actually say. So maybe in the comments you guys can let me know what the air pressure is supposed to be in these. I'm assuming it's not very high, but I might just go check the other side and see what it's at and just set them kind of the sim similar. So there we go. All right, well, I know this was kind of a short little video, but hope you enjoyed and uh, I guess we'll see you in the next one.